Hey guys and welcome to the tutorial on how to install the 5.5.1 or 5.5.0 um, kernel exploit for the Wii U. Now this exploit was actually recently uh, leaked onto GBA temp and I thought I might make a um, video tutorial um, going through um, how you can actually install this. Now the tutorial um, which I will be showing you all is actually based off of one that was linked in GBA temp which I'm sure most of you are already aware of it's by this user here um, Acarius031 and basically she just went through um, how you can install the exploit how you can get or well, sorry the kernel exploit and then how you can get um, other exploits running off from that and uh, there were still lots of people in the comments who were confused I was very confused at first um, there was actually a step that I couldn't get past which I saw other people in the comments uh, couldn't get past either which was uh, something to do with port 80 which I'll get to uh, once we get to that part but basically I'm gonna be going through this tutorial here so if you are having troubles on this I can show you uh, my experiences how I can do this um, and hopefully show and answer some of the questions that you guys have so what you want to do is you want to download the link from this page right here it will be step one you just download the uh, kernel exploit and the hack server this is pretty much all you need to download to get started and you want to download it from there media fire link really easy to use extract it to your desktop into a folder rename the folders so that they are not inverted and once we've done that we're going to open up our command prompt so now we have our command prompt open we want to type in IP config now that all of this stuff will come up it's pretty simple all you're doing is looking for one thing and that's IPv4 address and this will come up for your IPv4 address which is what you're going to need so in my case it's it will always be the same six digits but the last few digits will be changed in my case it's 0 0 uh, sorry uh, 0 uh, 10 and don't even bother trying to use that it won't work for you um, use your own one enter that get that save it somewhere in my case I have it in a document right here just a notepad document I've saved um, pretty much all the links and stuff that I will need um, and to be honest I don't even really need these anymore but yeah now we have uh, or you have your IP4 uh, address uh, you can just you can click back on that and then open it up again just you know so it's clean clean slate and what we're going to do is we're going to type in this bit of code here really simple bit of code that's all you have to do but before we do that I almost forgot a really important step we will have to um, go to our kernel exploit folder get hack server make sure this hack server document right here is in this link up here so for me I have to make sure that it's in C users desktop you can choose another location as long as you have the command prompt going to that location uh, it's just you're gonna have to have it in the same place as where you're running it from so if I were you I would just keep it simple um, take all of this here all of it and dump it uh, in the location that it states so we're gonna go over to command prompt and what we're going to do is we're going to run this bit here that I've already highlighted and that is Java space jar oh sorry hacks server dot jar I'm just gonna click enter now if you get this error message could not bind port 80 that's fine make sure you're not using Skype that's the first thing if you're using Skype then that's most likely the problem if you're not using Skype then open up XAMP and you want to go to your services 
so you can actually just go to services right there in XCAM control panel and you want to scroll down and find World Wide Web publishing service right here you see how this is running this is taking up port 80 so we want to stop that by just going over there stop service there you go guys for anyone who's had that problem there it's fixed now and we should be able to start a patch and there you go it's actually started and you can see it's taking up port 80 meaning that port 80 has now been uh, freed so we can just stop a patch to free it up for this so we're going to close that and we're going to type the same thing again now this time hopefully it will not come up with uh, could not bind to port 80 see no error message we have our kernel exploit all ready to go the only thing left is um, running from our Wii U. Now what you actually want to do is turn on your Wii U and go to the browser. So you know the Wii U browser. Yep, you just go onto that. Make sure you are on the home page, um, like the menu page that is, and you want to type in the URL. I'll show you which URL you want to type in. This. Ah, wait. There is one thing that we have to do though before we do this. Otherwise, it will not work. So you know how you've got your kernel exploit here. You'll want to put. Let's go to the payloads. You'll want to put kernel exploit 10 uh, and or kernel exploit 31. You want to just dump that into your SD card. But there's actually a, quite a specific folder that you'll need to put it in. And as you can see I'm here this is my SD card you'll want to have a folder called Wii U apps and then you want to dump it in here you can see I've got kernel exploit kernel exploit and then your different apps you also want to put in here so I've got SD caffeine uh, loading and yeah that's all good you just want to put whichever apps you want to you could just dump all of them in um, but yeah I already have them so just make sure that you have Wii U apps okay that's all good so we can close those and you'll want to uh, take out your SD card put it in your Wii U and make sure that's all loaded up once you're in your browser with your SD card set up uh, inside the Wii U and this still running by the way you still have to have this running make sure you've got this it's fine if it doesn't say any exploits or errors, whatever. And you'll want to put in this code right here. HTTP 192.168. And then what this code right here, th these, this number sequence, will be whatever your IPv4 is. So you know how you got your IPv4 earlier? Um, I just opened up the same document. You know how you got your IPv4 earlier? In my case, it would be this from typing in ipconfig in the command prompt. Well, that's what this link will be. So in my case, I would put as the link that. So once you type that in, you just hit enter and you should see Illuminati. I'm not kidding you. You'll actually see Illuminati come up on the screen. And if you see that, that's amazing. That means that the exploit has worked and yeah that's um it should take you back to the menu from there you want to go back into a, by the way any point further than this is for apps you've already got the kernel exploit um but for apps you'll want to go back in make sure that you have your sd card set up with the app in it so if i wanted sd uh, caffeine i would change this to sd caffeine Like that and you'll want to type in that of course this code being your IPv4 address once again um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it um, as far as that goes I 
actually got my kernel exploit still running here, I'm going to keep that because um, I actually do want to use the kernel exploit in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm here on my Wii U home screen showing you what you can do once you have your Wii U, um, your SD card in your Wii U. So what we want to do is we'll go here, just go into our internet browser, wait for it to load up. Simply go to the corner here, you see we've got all of our different bookmarks. I have my bookmarks here. Now, I'm going to go ahead click on the kernel exploit using the link that I gave you guys. You can see it loads, confirming Illuminati, okay. And there you go, it's just taking us back to the home uh, screen. This means that the kernel exploit has been successfully installed. And you'll have to do this every time you um, turn on your Wii U. So we're going to go just to our Wii U menu, you can see. Still works. Still perfectly normal. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to go to our back to our internet uh, browser. This is for loading apps now. Go to here. We'll go to our SD caffeine link. There you go, you see that? You also see me. Hey. Press A. And there you go. SD caffeine. It's been installed successfully. You can just load up Smash now and enjoy your app.